Morton T. Hansen, great at work, how top performers do less, work better, and achieve more. Dive into the world of Morton T. Hansen's great at work and discover the secret to working smarter, not harder. Hansen's extensive research involving 5,000 managers and employees unveils seven powerful performance principles that leading professionals employ. This book summary will guide you through the remarkable findings, showing how top performers manage to achieve more without working longer hours. Learn to eliminate unimportant tasks, prioritize activities based on value, and unceasingly upgrade your skills. Along the way, Hansen emphasizes the importance of passion and purpose in one's work, P squared, as a vital ingredient to success. Working smarter, not harder. In Great at Work, Morton T. Hansen employs massive research of 5,000 managers and employees to distill seven top performance principles for working smarter. He discovered that being great at work requires passion and purpose and living well. The top performers don't work longer hours, but make each hour count by focusing on essential tasks. Hansen recognizes the difficulty of putting these principles into practice in modern business, but with a clear and engaging writing style, Hansen provides an accessible guide encouraging readers to work smarter, not harder. Focus on priorities. In Great at Work, the author Morton Hansen advises against multitasking and encourages narrowing down priorities to increase effectiveness. According to Hansen, top performers concentrate on a smaller range of tasks and seek ways to eliminate non-essential ones. Removing internet capabilities, arriving early, and staying late are some of the ways to increase focus on important tasks. Instead of striving to finish more tasks, Hansen suggests focusing on the ones that matter most to attain better results. Value-Based Workflow Hansen's book advises on prioritizing tasks by calculating their value rather than relying on conventional productivity targets. He suggests an outside-in view to measure value, considering how tasks benefit stakeholders instead of focusing solely on internal targets. With this approach, work can become purposeful and contribute meaningfully to the organization's success. The Learning Loop Learn how to integrate a learning practice into your daily routine with Hansen's Learning Loop. Focus on one skill at a time, practice microbehaviors, and ask for feedback to monitor growth. Small changes in behavior can lead to significant outcomes. Embrace the slight drop in performance as a sign of moving up to the next level of expertise. Master a skill, and you'll do it without thinking. The Synergy of Passion and Purpose Passionate workers who connect their career goals with meaningful purposes ultimately become successful and fulfilled. Generating energy and making a difference in society, according to Hansen, is achieved by reframing one's job or designing a new role to generate value and meaning. An excellent example of this is the Scripps Health Manager who mobilized a team to assist victims of Hurricane Katrina. Hansen sheds light on the fact that passion alone may not guarantee success, but P squared, which is the combination of passion and purpose, ultimately leads to a more fulfilling and purpose-driven career. Mastering the Art of Persuasion Successful persuaders use logical arguments and emotional appeals, and connect proposals to greater causes. They use visual aids to demonstrate their points, work smart by focusing on a few key activities, and modify their approach based on opponents' perspectives to counter or neutralize them. They also co-opt adversaries by inviting them to join their project, making them partners in its success. Hansen's practical advice highlights the importance of understanding the opposition and inspiring purpose, making persuasion a powerful tool for achieving positive outcomes. Effective meetings, fighting or uniting. Bad meetings can be a waste of time, but there are two effective modes that can help bypass unproductive meetings. According to Hansen, one can either create a space for healthy debate where participants can challenge each other's opinions or come to a firm decision together at the end of the meeting. By adopting one of these modes, meetings can become more purposeful and productive. The Pitfalls of Collaboration Collaboration can be a double-edged sword. 
seeking help from experts in other departments can lead to over-collaboration, decreasing performance. However, under-collaboration can also hinder effective communication. To avoid these pitfalls, seek help only in areas of low proficiency and break down silos between departments. Effective collaboration is essential for achieving results in the workplace. Work less, achieve more. Learn the art of working fewer, productive hours by following Hansen's meticulously researched and valuable advice. In his book, Hansen offers a counterintuitive plan for success that goes against popular beliefs. He avoids exhortations and slogans and instead provides a common-sense approach to gaining greater success and pleasure from your work. Hansen's awareness of the human tendency towards self-contradictory thoughts and actions adds value to his practical advice. Gain pleasure from the clarity with which he describes his research, and join the growing population who are learning to work less and achieve more. As we conclude our exploration of Morton T. Hansen's A Great at Work, bear in mind the seven work smart principles that can significantly improve your work life. Focus on a smaller range of priorities, measure value rather than productivity, and constantly strive to enhance your skills. Remember to keep P-squared, passion and purpose, at the core of your work to maintain your motivation. Successful persuaders seamlessly merge logic with emotional appeal, while collaboration thrives by striking the right balance of cooperation and debate. With these takeaways, adopt a more effective and efficient approach to your work paving the way for greater success and satisfaction in your professional life.